Okay, sir. So today we are going to discuss uh, sine two a, cos two a, and tan two a is already over chain. So what I want to discuss here is today, what is sine? See, children, we know sine two a. Do you anyone of you remember what is the sine two a formula, children, in the last class? Two sine a cos a. This is what the formula. Two sine a cos a was the formula. Okay. If you think two a is a, if you imagine two a is a, then what will be a, children? What will be a? A by two. Right one, children. If two a whole thing is x, or think x. If two a whole thing is x, then what is a? X by two. I mean to say like that, children. If two a is a, a will be a. So what I do here instead of sine two a, if I write sine a, instead of sine two a, if I write sine a, this will become two sine. What is becoming a children? A by two cos a by two. This is what form of sine. Sine a, sine two a is two sine a cos a, but sine a is two sine a by two cos two a cos a by two. For example, which one do you want? So one example. Suppose someone will ask you sine sixty. Sine sixty means two sine sixty by two cos sixty by two. That is two sine thirty cos thirty. We know sine sixty is root three by two. See, we get the same answer. Two into one by two into root three by two. This this cancel root three by two, which is nothing but sine sixty. That's what I'm saying. Sine two a is two sine a cos a means. Sine a will become two sine a by two cos a by two. What are we writing here? This we it will be useful for doing so many numerical solutions. One. Children, in the last class I told you cos two a. Two formulas I derived for you children. One only in the form of cos, one only in the form of sine. Only in the form of cos it was two cos square a minus one. Minus one. Or only in the form of sine means one, one minus two sine square. A. One minus two sine square a into that children. Same thing children. If two a is equal to a, what is a? A by two. Okay. If I write this as cos a, if I write this whole thing as cos a, then what this will become children? What this will become? Two cos square a by two. This formula will become two cos square a by two minus one. Or this formula will become one minus two, two sine square a by two. Right. That's all. This is one formula. What for it will be useful? I will show you in a moment. What for? Okay, one second. Okay. Suppose same. Cos sixty we found out now. Cos sixty again we found out. Children, cos sixty. Cos sixty we use this side, this side. Which formula we use? Both we use. One will be one will be two. Cos square sixty by two minus one two. Children, cos sixty is one by two. You know it. See, I will get the same answer. Cos square thirty minus one. Two cos thirty is how much? Children, root three by two whole square minus one. Two into three by four minus one. Two two is our children. So three by two, three by two minus one. Three by two minus one is one by two. One by two is cos sixty. How much? If you put in this form also, you get same answer. What for it will be useful? I will show you how much. Now in next last class we also study about tan two a children. Do anyone of you remember tan two a formula? Two tan a by one minus tan square a. Two tan a by one minus tan square a. Same thing I will apply here. If two a I will write it as a, then a will be a by two. Let's substitute. Now let's find out tan a formula. What is tan a? We can write it. Two tan a by two by one minus tan square a by two. One minus tan square a by two. All these formulas should be on your tip, children. If all these formulas are on your tip, so only you will be doing the numericals. If not, you can't do the numericals. So many sums will come. No way, numbers will be there. Everywhere, these formulas only will be using like this. Numbers won't come at all. Now, why are you saying this to make you understand? Because they are identical. Just like this question, they won't ask you. Every day we have to keep on using the formulas. They will be, they should be on your tip. If I ask tan two a, you should say this. If I ask tan a, you should say this. Like that, you should do the function. Okay. Now here also we do some children. Tan sixty. Tan sixty. What is the formula? Children, root three. You know all. I will show you. Two tan sixty by two. One minus tan square sixty by two. Two tan thirty. 
1 minus tan square 13. So 2 into 1 by root 3, 1 minus 1 by root 3 whole square. How much is becoming 2 by root 3, 1 minus 1 by 3. So how much is coming to the non second? How much is coming? 2 by root 3 by 2 by 3. This goes here, this goes here, this will cancel. 3 by root 3. Go for the initial isolation. Root 3. Root 3. So, what will the formula be here? All are correct from me. Of course, they are not wrong. Just to show you, I will teach them and write these questions more here. So, if ever anyone asks you, what is sine A formula? You should say 2 sine A by 2 cos A by 2. Actually, how it came? It came from sine PA. This derivation from the law will ask, but you should know how you got the formula. If you know how you got the formula, then you can remember that's why I'm teaching you derivation. So, cos 2A is this formula. Only cos A means 2 cos square A by 2 minus 1, 1 minus 2 tan square A. Tan 2A is 2 tan A by 1 minus tan square A. Only tan A means 2 tan A by 2 by 1 minus tan square A. Now, higher versions of this one, children. So, on this also, so many comes will be there, children. Higher versions. Slowly, I will say, try to understand it. Here, I am getting disturbance. Please mute your audios. Mute your audios. I am getting disturbance, children. Who is this fellow? So, children, I hope you all understood these formulas. Using these formulas, I will derive some more formulas. Actually, everything is same. Once you understood this the sign 2 a and sign a concept, you can answer anything. Children. You can answer anything. Children. So, please don't disturb me, children. Don't run with your sins, please. Suppose sign 6 a. Someone will ask you what is sine 6 a. Someone will ask you sine 6 a. We know sine a is 2 sine a by 2 cos a by 2. Okay. So sine 6 a is what children? Sine 6 a is what? 2 sine 6 a by 2 cos 6 a by 2. So sine 6 a we can write as 2 sine 3 a cos 3 a. Right. Like this, we can. No, sir, we didn't understand this. One more. Idea. Sign 11. <coughs> and someone asked you, what is sign 11? This we can write as sign 11 as 2 sign 11 a by 2 cos 11 a by 2. From where you got the formula of this formula? Someone will ask you, sign 5 a. Sign 5 a. 2 sign 5 a by 2. Cos 5a by 2. Cos 5a by 2. Someone will ask you sign 4a. 2 cos 2a. 2 cos 2a. 2 sin 2a. 2 sin 2a. Cos 2a by 2. So 2 sin 2a cos 2a. Someone will ask you sign 3a. 2 sin 3a by 2 cos 3a. Like that, children. You all understood now sign 7a, sign 8a, sign 100a, sign 1000a, sign 1 lakh a also. Understood. That's all. Now, someone will ask you, what is cos 5a? In both methods, we will tell. I want only in cos means 2 cos square 5a by 2 minus 1. In this way, means? Sir, cos square, sir. Cos square 5a by 2, 2 sin square 5a by 2. 5 by 2. Like this. Suppose someone will ask you what is cos 4a. In both the methods, 2 cos square 4a by 2 minus 1, 1 minus 2 sin square 4a by 2, which is nothing but 2 cos square 2a minus 1, 1 minus 2 sin square 4a by 2 is 2a. Okay, you are able to understand, children. Someone will ask you what is cos 3a. Cos 3a. What do you write cos 3a children? 2 cos square 3a by 2 minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin square 3a by 2. Any formula is okay children. 
cos 4a can write cos 5a can write cos 6a cos 7a cos 8a cos 9a cos 10a cos 11a cos 12a you were wish to be can write up to anything they if you want to be a perfect chain practice up to all 20 chain a time will be a cos 20a time will be a like any practice then you will become perfect chain okay suppose i want tan 3a what is the form of a tan 3a children do tan 3a by 2 By one minus tan square three a by two. Tan four a. Two tan. Two tan two a by one minus, one minus tan square two a. Two a. Tan square four a by two. Now you write final. What is final tan? Two tan two a by one minus tan square two a. Two a. Anyone tan five a? Two tan five a by two. Two tan five a by two by by one minus tan square five a by two. Tan square five a by two. Chena, are you able to understand, Chena? What we are doing? Yes, Chena. Yes, sir. Are you able to understand, Chena? What we are doing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What we did till now, we understood. So I told you in the first class, sine Chena, uh, sine a plus b. From sine a plus b, I told you sine a plus a sine two a formula. If you know sine two a formula, how to write sine a? I told. Once you know sine a, sine three a, four a, five a, six a, seven a, eight a, I told you now. In the first class, one formula you remember. You can derive n number of formulas. Here you practice twenty. Here you practice twenty. Here you practice twenty. You become perfect children because you are still in tenth class. The intermediate will be very very slow. Normally you have to multiply all these formulas children. Compulsory you have to multiply. If you mark up only in the numericals when you are doing, but after that you will be in the position to substitute these formulas and you will derive. There will not be any sums like normal children sign that you find outside one twenty you find out like that it won't be there. Everything is derivation. So this is the topic in trigonometry uh, children. In next class I will derive some more uh, angles children, some more compound angles over over children here. So what is my humble request is. Uh, Do up to twenty is the year. Up to twenty year. Up to twenty year, you will get the grip on the subject. That is what I want to see.